My name is Jeff White, and I'm the research entomologist for Bedbug Central and the host of Bedbug TV, bedbugcentral.com. I have no idea how I got into bugs and bedbugs. And here I am six years later and having a lot of fun working with bedbugs. And I'll be talking to you about pest control. Bedbugs are unfortunately back and here to stay. And so people want to know, what do I need to know about bedbugs? Well, what you need to know is that they were virtually eradicated from the United States around the end of World War II due to the wide-scale usage of a pesticide called DDT. And people hear about DDT and see all the history with that pesticide and think that is the sole reason that bedbugs were gone from the United States for 50 to 60 years. But it had a lot to do with residual pesticides, whether it was diazinon, Dursban, Lindane. There are a lot of residual pesticides that were taken off the market around the early 1990s. And what that did is it opened the door for bedbugs to make their comeback. Bed bugs are a quarter inch long, oval, flat, and reddish brown. Now that's the adult. The first instar, when it hatches out of an egg, is translucent in color and about the size of a letter on a penny, and those can be very difficult to see. But remember, if the first instar bed bugs are there and eggs are there, theoretically adults should be there. And so when we do inspections, we're looking for adult bed bugs and as disgusting as it is, the fecal spotting, which is black spots usually associated with sleeping areas. Now bed bugs feed exclusively on blood. They can feed on things other than humans, such as dogs and cats, and we don't know what they choose to feed on, but they do feed on blood from the minute they hatch out of an egg until the minute that they die. And as I said before, bed bugs are unfortunately back and here to stay, so you need to get educated on what they are and how to avoid bringing them into your house.